what is up guys it has been a day so i just actually got off the treadmill did day three of um, my couch to 5k and you guys something really awesome happened i am um, sorry i'm also keeping my eye out for my little guy coming on the bus but so what happened today is, is that like ever since i had my ms relapse oh my gosh it's break um it took away all my all my endurance, all my everything, anything that I had ever built up before with workouts, fitness, anything. And I'm a year and a half. Um, it's been a year and a half since I had that relapse. And today I got, I started crying when I saw this, but I got up to a mile and it was at 16 minutes. And I know some people might be like, oh, 16 minutes. But like, you guys, you don't realize it was taking me 40 plus minutes walking at a super slow speed, like uh, like a two or three miles per hour pace just to walk the mile. How crazy is that? And today I ran and 16 minutes I hit the mile. That is ridiculously awesome. I'm so excited and I just... It means so much to me that I've been able to achieve that because because there was a point where like I couldn't walk, I couldn't talk, I couldn't do anything for myself and now I'm running. I'm running. Huge, huge, huge. So, uh, so anyway, it's so all that aside. Today I uh, ran a bunch of errands and went to Aldi and got some more things. Your workout is complete. Switching my family now to low carb keto diet. Um, I'm slowly kind of playing around with the idea of maybe doing carnivore. Um, I would like to finish reading the book that I got. I got the book by Maria and Craig Emmerich. Just recently, they just recently, um, bit, 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 their book just got released this month um, in the last week actually, so I can leave a link down below for Amazon if you want to look at it. I'm not affiliated with it or anything, just for you to check it out. And so, yeah, it's, uh, whoop, sorry, it's been a pretty good read so far. So I want to make sure I read it through and just see how, see what I'm getting myself into. So, sorry, I'm like, what is this? Like stepping on Legos and all sorts of stuff. Oh, every mother's dream. So anyway, um, and up until this point, I've been fasting all morning long. I've had some coffee. Um, I did not put any creamer or anything like that in there. It's just all black, straight up black. So it's good. And then I'm going to be making myself some cube steak and a little bit of, I was going to say veggies, but I don't think I'm going to do veggies. I think I just might do the cube steak, cook in some butter with a couple eggs. That's what I think. So... Okay, let's get crack a lacking. All right, moment of truth, guys. We're gonna get down to the business of lunch. So I picked up this cube steak from Aldi. Um, I really actually like this. I ended up cooking about two of these in the pan with some butter. I just sear it a little bit on either side and it turns out awesome. And then I'm gonna be adding a couple eggs. So this is the meal I'm gonna be breaking my fast with for today and it's gonna be really good. And I know some people are funny about like the organic, whatever eggs, trust me guys, it really does make a difference. Um, if you know Maria Emmerich, she has a whole uh, series on her blog on, um, it's like my healthy mind, body health, something.com. I'll leave a link in here below. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just not thinking of it right now, but she has a whole series about, um, the value and the quality of particular types of eggs that you get. So I'm not just throwing crazy schmutz, schmutzy information at you. It's important. So get the eggs. And I love the brown eggs anyway. They're so, not only are they pretty, but they taste delicious. So let's get, let's get moving. These are a bit bigger than the last time I got these cube steaks. So I think I'm just going to stick with one this time, guys. It's quite, it's quite sizable. So we're just going to do that. I'm just going to grill it or cook, not grill it, but cook it a little bit in this um, Kerrygold butter. Kerrygold butter is awesome because it's pure. Uh, there's not anything fake in it. It's just cream and salt for the most part. Um, it, and for the, when I say for the most part, that means like you can get it unsalted too if you want, but 
So I'm going to cook this a little bit and I'm going to season it just lightly and we'll move on to the eggs. Guys, it is messy because like I ended up cooking the eggs in the, like I didn't drain the pan from the butter and the steak before, but it's going to be delicious and I'm super excited. This is a great uh, carnivore meal. This is a great keto meal and I am looking forward to breaking my fast. Whoop, whoop. Fix this hot mess express hair there. Okay, guys, so I wolfed that steak and eggs so fast, super full, and I'm just like, it feels really nice to just feel full after a meal. The longest time I had eaten, well, if I'm really honest with you, for the longest time I ate plant-based and I felt like I was eating all the time. I never felt like I could get really full and stay full for hours. And so with this, like eating more this way has just been such a relief because I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, why do I need to eat again? It's like, that's how I would feel. So anyway, and now moving on, I made these Reese's peanut butter cup fat bombs, like copycats, keto rise. They're keto copycat fat bombs. Because girlfriend still likes her chocolate. Let's get real. So, so like the top and the bottom base, I used some um, silicone cupcake liners and I melted coconut oil with cocoa powder and then I sweetened it with stevia drops. Uh, you can add in some sugar, like keto sugar from like Swerve or monk fruit, something like that. But this is just what I did. And then I had natural unsweetened peanut butter there. And I had mixed that with a bit of Swerve Confectioner's um, sugar. I know like some of you were like yelling through the screen at me. <laughs> so, and then as I went, I just poured a layer of chocolate in the silicone cup, threw it in the freezer in a tray. And then once that was done, I put the layer of peanut butter, repeat, repeat. So, and now I'm good to enjoy. So, this is a great treat in the afternoon if you're just eating something sweet. Um, a great way to boost your fat intake or your calories. Um, so like this is this is fun. And my kids love these. And I like knowing too that they can have these things. And I don't need to worry about them having so much sugar in their systems and the rest of the crud that comes with it. Like that's really important to me. So definitely enjoy a little bit of these. Here, this is what they look like. I made a couple trays actually. Here, let's go up here. Whoop, making a mess. Yeah, there they are. They're not fancy by any means, a little bit messy, but you know what? They ain't leaving my kitchen, so. A little bit of mess, never hurting anybody. So I'm gonna go enjoy this and have a cup of tea. And then I need to clean and do laundry. I know. Stay at home mom life. Oh, oh my goodness. What is happening? Don't tell. <laughs> Say hi. Hi, I'm Moo Peanuts. <laughs> All right, so we are going to start moving into dinner time. I've been like cleaning my and house. And eating some burgers. <laughs> well, we're going to make burgers, aren't we? So I've been cleaning my house, doing Get some, here. keeping myself busy because I feel like that's really important, especially like if you're trying to fast and really be good about your meals and like focusing on a couple you meals a day. You go down here. I know. I'm going to show them in just a minute. So anyway, so... Mop my floors, did the vacuuming, did some laundry. Now it's time to make some dinner. So we're gonna make burgers. So I've got three pounds of burger here. And then I've got- and some egg right there. A few eggs in there. And then I like using this seasoning a lot. I found this at Sam's Club. I'm not sure where else you can find it. I'm sure Amazon, you know, save you some steps instead of shop hopping, but it is amazing, it is a fantastic blend, it smells good. So I use about one tablespoon of that mix per pound of burger. So I'm gonna mix all of these up now and make them into some patty. More time has passed, I'm back into some regular clothes. Getting ready to go to my son's hockey game tonight. But I wanted to show you what we're gonna be doing for dressing up these burgers. We're gonna do bunless burgers. We have some mayonnaise, zero added, like no added sugar ketchup, which is important. Got some ranch. 
And then we are gonna have some of these, got some pickle slices to put on there. We got cheese. And then as a side, we're gonna have pork rinds to kind of act like some sort of like chips, something crunchy. So it's gonna be really good. And in the meantime, I'm also cooking, sauteing up some mushrooms um, just for a little something added extra, some extra vitamins and minerals, a little bit of texture. So I'm gonna end cooking them in butter because you know how we roll. Hmm. Um. That's a wrap for today, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I need to head out to my son's hockey game because, you know, it's a lot. So thank you so much. Remember to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And we'll see you next time.